it says going live. So, all right, it says you're live. Yay. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy brunch. Say hello to Stephanie. Well, Stephanie's on my right in the. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> We are gathered here today uh, to do the awesome pattern that you see behind Stephanie right now, the potato chip quilt. So uh, I, I'm sure uh, if you haven't seen it before, there's tons of like potato chip block videos out there. But yeah. uh, Stephanie did this, this monster chip, like, you know, like the one big chip that's in the bag that you save till the end because right. it's so big. Like that's this quilt. <laughs> and so she did, I did like the small fries versus the super size. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and so um, we, she and I today are going to be using uh, what's called Vegas strips. And they are uh, six and a half by width of fabric strips that the um, Soya company um, out in Vegas, they put those out. Um, you might be able to see a couple of them uh a couple of them uh behind me over <laughs> here uh so all we had to do was just sub cut those strips down to 12 and a half inches uh but if you're working with your own like scraps or whatever it's six and a half by 12 and a half inches is how uh stephanie i love that stephanie did the maths in my head because i in, in her head because that's <laughs> where i would have been like how do i match these up um so, but if, if you are sewing along, that's, it's six and a half inch by 12 and a half inch. And Stephanie's doing another one. Stephanie, will you tell us about what your plans are for the one behind you right now? Sure. This is what they're, what Shannon's talking about. Six and a half inch by 12 and a half inch. So you don't have to have Vegas strips. You can use, if you have yardage scraps, if you have like, say you got a bunch of fat quarters and you only used half the fat quarter, you should be able to get, you know, some six and a half by 12 and a half inch strips out of that fat quarter. So oh, yeah. make it scrappy, make it planned, whatever you want. So the one behind me actually is going to be an auction quilt. Um, so Shannon <laughs> at our last retreat in Pennsylvania purchased something from the auction and so did somebody else. I'm actually going to do an online auction and all of those proceeds go towards a scholarship for my retreats. So we have somebody coming to the Millersburg retreat who's on scholarship. And it was thanks to the generosity of the ladies who attend Millersburg. We do a silent auction at Millersburg every year. Um, but there's not really a good way to do an auction for the other retreats. And I like to give at least one spot per retreat away as a scholarship. We had one at the last retreat in Georgia. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to have one for Pennsylvania. But obviously it has to be funded somehow. I am not wealthy. If I was, that would be amazing, but I'm not. <laughs> so what I do is I um, I'm going to have, and since I can't really do the silent auction like we do in Millersburg, which everybody makes something or brings something and we all bid on everything, um, I'm going to do an online auction. I found a couple places that their fees are very, very minimal because the idea is for charity or something like this. Oh, cool. So um, I'm going to gather some things. I've got a lot of quilts and table runners sitting around. And this is going to be one of them. Um, right now, obviously, it's not quilted, but I'm going to, since it's sort of, it's rainbow, but it's kind of plain because it's not like fancy block design. I'm going to quilt it maybe to death. I don't know. <laughs> and that'll go in the auction for the scholarship fund for my retreat. So. So awesome. I love that you're doing that. I love that you're doing the, the auctions because I, I think we've said it so many times over the past couple of years since your very first retreat everybody should go to re retreat if they can <laughs> even yes. even if it's not a together we sew retreat because you know obviously you can't be everywhere you have family <laughs> yeah <laughs> a, a life to live so but uh, just the opportunity to be able to go to a retreat is amazing and uh it's so it's it can be out of reach for folks because it yeah. it there's fees that you have to charge like you have to be able to pay for the space to do it and everything and yeah. uh the gas to get there for you <laughs> yeah. so being able to offer that to someone is incredible yep I love <laughs> and I love being able to do it but I I can't do it alone because it is it is money so um this provides me an opportunity to 
give back a little bit to the quilting community. So, yeah. Well, um, if there's anything I've learned over the past three years of quilting, it's that that this is an amazingly generous community who can get behind you on doing something like that, on, on providing something like that for someone. So, yay. Um, I, I kind of got a head start. So I'm going to show, I'm again using the fairy frost. Oh, that's so pretty. So I'm starting off with the purples and blues and I'm going to kind of do it in a rainbow swirl action. <laughs> um, um, so I, I did this, the base last night to make sure I, I was like, it was clicking in my noggin. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm going to say uh, a general good morning, everybody. <laughs> because <laughs> we kind of jumped right into to, to talking about what we're up to uh, yeah. and now there's wonderfully so many people that you guys would be bored if I said hi to you all individually uh, but I really appreciate everyone being here this morning and there are uh, let's see oh my gosh there's like 45 of you all <laughs> so good morning <laughs> that's that's awesome um if you all are working on the this project let us know what fabrics you're working with or like the color way like what your colors are if, yeah. if it's not if it's scrappy it could be you know a million different designers and things uh if you're not working on this in particular because i mean it was kind of short notice of hey we're doing this <laughs> surprise uh let us know what you are working on uh, even if it's just you're working on, uh, you know, rest this morning and you're just drinking a cup of coffee and chilling out. Mm -hmm. Oh, Charlotte says, oh, swoon, love fairy frost. Yeah, right. it's, I like how sparkly it is just from showing it there. And it's, it's so pretty. The, um, uh, why did I just, oh, the Vegas strip of the fairy frost is a combination of the soft sparkle and the, mm -hmm. the rough sparkle. Yeah. Um, so it'll, it'll be, you know, different kinds of, of shine throughout the whole thing, which I think is kind of cool. Yes. Ooh, Shelly is finishing up Hazy Hills. Oh, um, awesome. Look at that. Hi, Marla. Oh, Judy's working on her blockhead. Woohoo! That was a fun one this week. Really pretty star. Kelly said she's having coffee. That sounds good. <laughs> there you go. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Hi, Marla. Good to see ya. All right. So I snagged a screenshot of Stephanie's uh from her video <laughs> so that I could make sure I was keeping myself on track of, of how I'm building this because uh like I have done with log cabins before I quickly lose the plot <laughs> I don't know where I am anymore <laughs> <laughs> I understand that completely <laughs> Charlotte said, this is an awesome pattern, Stephanie. Well, thank you. I really don't take credit for it because I really didn't write a pattern. I just started sewing the pieces together into a huge <laughs> potato chip thing. <laughs> but thank you. They're just really fun and easy. And if you need a quilt quick for somebody, um, even though it's a simple quilt, you can make it the quilt not as simple looking by mixing the colors up and the quilting you put on it. Um, but it's also a great thing for charity quilts because I've heard a lot of people say like, I don't want to spend hours and hours and hours making a quilt just to give it to charity, which I don't know if that's the right attitude to have towards charity, but um, maybe not so nice, but here's an alternative for you. If you want to do one for charity, it's, it's, it's an hour, it's an hour quilt. So surely all of us have an hour we can give to another human being on this planet. <laughs> yeah. I will say I do like the faster ones, not because I, I don't want, want to spend time on it. It's because I am on the slower side of sewing. So if I want to be able to gift these and, and put them into, you know, provide them, 
I, it, it does need to be a little bit, uh, like ready for me, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. easy to get set up and stuff. Uh, otherwise it, it would be six years before anybody sees anything. <laughs> yeah. No, I hear you. see oh ingrid's working on a secret project today Ooh. marjorie's working on a large crumb block fun from cutoff pieces from the friend box oh from the friend box uh, block of the month ah kathy's binding two quilts finished before christmas love that nice hi chloe hi allison Oh, Allison says she's usually quiet on here. Perfectly acceptable. I never said a word for many, many, many months. <laughs> <laughs> Today I am finishing a scrappy trip around the world. Oh, I love trip trip around the worlds. That's awesome. Oh, Mon Monkey Man says four inches of snow. We ended up with the ice last night. We ended up with no inches of snow. Oh, um, really? The ice turned to rain and it's pretty much washed everything away. So... Oh. It ended up fine. We didn't get any accumulation. It just kind of sat on the top of our grass a little bit. Yeah. But when I just went upstairs right now a minute ago, it's snowing again. Oh, wow. We'll see. I don't think we're supposed to get any significant accumulation, though. Yeah, Pat, I agree with that. Yeah, but quickly yield more quilts for more people that that yeah. I can get behind that I totally yeah I like that oops I was like why is all my stuff falling down I left my sewing machine out from the insert oh <laughs> <laughs> that would be what <laughs> hey Darlene Ooh, Candace is cleaning up after a bunch of, of 12 year olds. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Slumber party, but oof, yes, I, re I remember those days. Yes, they like to make a mess and they smell. <laughs> <laughs> and I can say that because I have three boys. And yesterday, after my live, I walked upstairs to their bedroom and I walked in and I went, oh. <laughs> and I said to my oldest son, when did you change your socks last? <laughs> <laughs> and did he say we have to change them oh Ooh, colleen's making flannel blocks but oh, hi tammy oh ingrid is just 20 minutes up the road from me and she said she she did get some snow but it's melting now uh, but she's 20 minutes up the road for me but up a mountain so gotcha gotcha oh chloe just shovel snow in rhode island kelly might get some snow this week this evening Oh, Christine, I saw that on the news last night. Downtown Florida, uh, Fort Lauderdale had a tornado. With Oh my goodness, really? I don't I don't know how big it was or if there was anything other than some structural damage, but I I hope everybody was okay. That must have been shocking. Yeah. That's crazy. It was like in downtown, like wow. Yeah. I remember when uh, downtown Nashville had one a few years ago, and that was yep. crazy. But Tennessee gets tornadoes, so it just didn't, just not normally in the heart of a major city. All right, I'm going to look down real fast. Sorry to ignore you all for a second. <laughs> I'll never get this seam done. <laughs> 
Yeah, um, Tennessee just had one not too long ago that went through a suburb of Nashville. Yeah. And one of our good friends that we knew from college years, um, his neighborhood was hit and every house had damage except for his. He was very lucky. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I think my favorite thing about this block and now, you know, supersized quilt block, um, I love that there are no corner, like I don't have to match any points or anything. No seams to match. No yep. seams. Yeah. Perfect for beginners. Actually, Adam sews yesterday. You know, he's teaching his husband now to sew. Yeah. He's been teaching him like just, you know, patchwork, like sew some charm squares together. Yeah. And yesterday he's like, this is perfect for him. He's like, this will be his next quilt because it's no seams to match up, you know. Yeah. But a little bit bigger pieces than the uh, than the charm squares, you know. And you get instant gratification because it's so big. Yeah. You feel like you're accomplishing something. Yep. For very sure. Quickly. So I was like, oh, that's cool. Nice. How many views is the video up to now? I think like 11,000. Woo! Pretty amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. Well deserved. Thank you. Okay, so I started adding the green. Oh, look how pretty. Oh my gosh, your quilt is just sparkling. That's gorgeous. I, get, I was telling Stephanie, I, I did not do the brain work of figuring out how to spiral out the rainbow uh oh, so I yeah. think I'm, I'm gonna have to do some uh well we'll see I, I was thinking I might have to do some partial seaming action yeah but um we'll see how this goes as I'm at it because so like this so this is the top um the way Stephanie is doing it she was doing right left or left right I don't know which way you're seeing it but to continue the spiral of the rainbow, I want to do uh, this side, my left, bottom across with the other green, then start the yellow on this side and kind of like a, sna a snail shell yes, spiral. Yes. Um, so that means I'm gonna have to do some partial seaming, which I'm kind of excited about. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so here's a question for you since we're oh. talking about rainbows. Yes. Do you know how many months are in the Legit Kits Rainbow Vortex block of the month? 12. 12. Okay, I wasn't yep. sure if it was 12 months or what it was. Yep. Um, each and, and the iris too is 12 months. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> sure. That was my thought. Oh, is this going to look too much like vortex? But I was like, meh. No, <laughs> Rainbow is just really not. easy and I and pleasing to the eye. Yeah, so. no, the vortex is completely different. Yeah. The next time you have one of those, I'm going to have to uh, be here sewing while you're sewing live because I need some motivation to catch up on that because I'm behind. I am too, just with all the stuff that we've been doing. So yeah, yeah I got to. With Vlogmas and Christmas and the retreat, yep. Yeah, I just, I, I was not ready to jump back into it today. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I need something easy, like a palette cleanser, that kind of thing. Yeah, this is perfect for that because it's such a quick project and you can see like progress very fast. <laughs> yes. Oh, Christine just finished her first Art East sampler block. That's fun. Oh yeah, I think that started today, doesn't it? Um, I, I can't, I actually don't know, can't remember. Is it okay at the virtual retreat to work on our own project? Sure. 
I mean, we're, we have projects for you, but if you want to work on your own thing, no problem. Uh, let's see. Monkey Man says this quilt is perfect if you just want to sew therapy. Yes. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, Julie says she's interested in seeing how the rainbow will translate with such wide bands of color. I'm very intrigued to see how it's going to work. Yeah. I think it's going to be beautiful. Of course, I happen to be partial to Fairy Cross, so. <laughs> <laughs> And I actually have that same pack because I think you and I bought it on the same night. <laughs> I think so. But I had already earmarked it in, for some other projects, so. Gotcha. Yeah. So I had a pack that was just, it wasn't a collection. It was just some basics of several different lines that they put together. And it's all greens and blues. So this is the greens so far. Oh, love it. And um, I decided because most quilts that are made are kind of feminine that I would make this one more masculine. So I have more of a manly quilt to, <laughs> to donate. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Marla said, what is the fabric line behind you? This is Cosmos. This is a basic from uh, uh, Textiles, maybe? Let me look it up really quick. I'm pretty sure it's PMB Textiles, but I am not positive. But it's definitely, it's a basic. Yeah, PMB Textiles. Yep. Yeah. So like the, you know, like the planets, Cosmos, C-O-S-M-O-S. -S. It's really pretty. And it comes in lots more colors than you, what you see in mine. That's only, you know, 21 of the colors. I think it comes in like, I don't know, like 80 colors or something. So wow. it's really pretty. That's a, that's a healthy line of basics. Yeah. I always like finding new basics that have a little bit of something extra, like some movement to them. Um, yeah. And I have a wide variety of colors to sew with. Because sometimes you want something with a little something extra, not just plain background. I agree with that. Oh, Kelly has a project box full of two and a half by four. Four and a half inch rectangles to start. Oh, cool. Chip. Perfect. That's cute. Yeah, that's perfect for the regular size potato chip block. Oh, <laughs> Ingrid's already got a date with Jack. Uh oh. This is quickly going to be way too big for me to be able to show people. <laughs> So I, I put the oh, it's pretty. next group of green and this is where I stopped at about a quarter of an inch. And now I'm going to add the other side to this side and then I'll marry it up down there. Nice. I've done the Y seams on like right. mitered corners and stuff. So I'm assuming this is going to go about the same. It should actually be easier than your white seams. Your white seams. I like to hear it. Yeah. I've used that technique not to put stuff together before. Well, sort of put stuff together, but to take stuff apart. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, if I have a block oh. on the quilt that I realize after I put the quilt together. Oh, yeah. That, I've done that, too. Okay. Yeah, that Please. something is messed up, and I just don't want to take the entire quilt apart. 
I'll unpick just like those parts of the block. So it's kind of like what you did now and like part of it's sewn and then there's a piece hanging off and then I'll turn the thing and stitch it back together and then stitch off the other side. Yep. So that's kind of what you're doing right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ingrid said that quilt is growing as fast as George. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> you are not wrong. How is that puppy? Huge. Yeah. Just a baby, but huge. <laughs> Chloe said, I love a good blender. Uh, Shelly said, I love the colors so bright and airy that you have going on. Yes, her colors are beautiful. My thought for this one, after coming back home from Georgia, is I don't have just a, a car quilt. Oh. Um, and so I was thinking that, that this might be the tossed in the back car quilt should... I have, you know, just the random thought to have a picnic. <laughs> yeah. Or if anything should go wrong, I have warmth of a quilt. There you go. I had somebody in my car just recently that said, oh, somebody lost their blanket in the car because there was a blanket in the floor, on the floorboard in my front between the driver and the passenger. And I said, no, this is Ohio. So... We keep a blanket in the car in the winter because you never know. Yeah, yeah you so, just don't. Keeping a quilt in the car, I think, is an excellent idea. Uh, Grindle said, this is going to be my go-to quilt for all my friends and family. Awesome. That's awesome. It just... You could the 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 plethora of fabrics that are out there. They would like you would never get bored with what you were putting together. Yep. And Jeannie said, "I handle fixing mistakes the same way." Yep. Who wants to pick out a whole row if your block right in the middle of your quilt is messed up? Right. Exactly. Not me. That's for sure. I've I I'm. I've done that with uh, FPP with legit kit before where I was like, oh no, I'm not unpicked. Cause I sew with an even smaller stitch length. Yep. When I FPP. I'm like I am not tearing apart that whole block. <laughs> I'll just work that section out. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Kathy said, I need a car quilt. My, Two dogs have quilts. <laughs> Love it. That's that's, right. oh, that's also a good idea. Have something for the dogs to lay on in the car. Ooh, I could see like the person who was saying they're making this in flannel. Oh. That would be perfect for a car quilt. Yes. Yeah. Monkey Man said, my pup has his favorite blanket, not quilt in the car. He has the whole back seat. Oh, awesome. <laughs> and Marla said, I love the length of this quilt. I can tuck it under my feet. Yep. <laughs> And if you don't want it to be this big, like say you're just trying to make a quick throw, you can take off the last two sets of rows, the last two sets of five, and it'll be a square 60 by 60. So then you've got more of a throw. Okay. Size. But the, so the way that I did this, putting all the strip piece in the rainbow section, I only had three 12 and a half inch strips left over. Yeah. From the whole thing. Well, I guess that would be the same no matter what. Sorry. Sometimes no, okay. critical <laughs> thinking doesn't happen in this head. <laughs> it is early still. <laughs> On a Sunday after you worked all week. <laughs> yes. So no worries. So I'm starting to get the blues on now. 
Nazi. Oh, yeah. So this one's all greens and blues. Well, I know that you said you were thinking, you know, in the masculine side, but I I may be bidding on that one for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Ingrid set has uh, this just told us that George, her big old puppy, Great Dane something, definitely Great Dane, uh, is five months old and over 50 pounds oh. already. Wow. You can <laughs> be a big boy. I bet his paws are huge, aren't they? Oh, and he's got the most darling, squishy face with all like that extra skin because he's still a puppy. Aww. <laughs> Ingrid said, I was just thinking about making a flannel quilt. This is perfect for that. Yes. It would be a nice, cozy quilt to have in your car. Yep. Ooh, all right, coming up to the intersection. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. <laughs> I love how fast these go together. Yes. Ah, you're right. This is easy. <laughs> no, oh, way easier. Scary. Way easier than Y seems. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Nowhere near as scary as you think it's going to be. Yeah. Great Dane and Lab Mix, said Ingrid. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's going to be a big boy. Karen Cox is here from Ohio. Hi, Karen. I will never hear the state of Ohio and not think of those uh, commercials I used to see when I, when I was in Pennsylvania visiting my grandparents. And they would be, oh, hi. And it would show them on the roller coaster going, hi. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Every time. So I think, oh, I just lost my thread. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, buggers. What's well, round on the ends and high in the middle? <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> The answer could also be me. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. You have your own state. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs>
Oh, it's over now, y'all. I'm going to be partial seeming the heck out of everything. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so Karen said, is there a story why it's called the potato chip quilt? Okay, so this is what I've heard. I really don't know if this is why it's called that. There's so many people doing the potato chip block out there, but they say it's called a potato chip quilt or potato chip block because... They're so easy, you can't make just one. Just like you can't eat just one potato chip, right? Uh, Oh. Which I guess maybe that's the truth because I just made one the other day and here I am making another one. (laughs) (laughs) That's cute though. Yes. Which really, they're so fast that you feel like you've gotten something accomplished. So it's kind of a nice thing if you've worked on a really hard project and you just want to feel the thrill of getting something done. (laughs) Yeah. It is wild to see how fast this is sewing up. Yep. I do have to be cognizant of the time because it was my oldest's birthday this past week. And because of the gross weather yesterday, we didn't get to go do our birthday meal together, which yeah. is dim sum. I've talked about that before. We, uh, we are a, like anything uh, of, of any Asian food, Thai, Vietnamese, Korean, adult, we just love it. So mm-hmm. <laughs> dim sum is what's on the menu for birthday lunch today. That sounds so, good. They will need to be aware of the time, but all right. now ironed out, it looks even better because I was like, Ooh, oh, it's on. all right, so then, oh, that just means now I just have the top. Oh, fun. Okay. It's so sparkly, Shannon. It's going to be so pretty. And pretty. So do you mind if I talk about the retreats really quick? Oh my gosh, no, please. Okay, so I opened Georgia yesterday and you guys are amazing. Like I only have one seat left. Holy cow. Yes. (laughs) So if you're interested in the Georgia retreat (laughs) and you would like to attend, make sure you head on over together. We still quilt retreats um, and check it out. If you're part of the Facebook group, it's also linked in there if you would if you would like. But in the next week, I'm also going to put up the Pennsylvania retreat to open that up for attendees. I'm going to send an email out to the people who are there this past year first. And then um, a week within, I should say two weeks, I'm going to put up for the general public. So look for that soon, too. But what y'all don't know and you're going to know now is that Shannon is going to be teaching there. Yay! (laughs) Which I'm super excited about. Yes. Super excited. Super thankful for the opportunity. (sighs) Oh. That is one of the project-based retreats. And so Shannon is going to teach us a little something. And I will have one of my quilts for you guys. And then we'll do some other sort of project. But I'm so excited to have Shannon I feel like I, I hit like the lottery with her. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's it's so exciting and it's um, uh, it's going to be so much fun. And it's with like this whole family base that we've created over the past couple of years. So yes. it's pretty neat to be able to do that. Yep. So that will be coming out soon and that is September 12th through the 15th so georgia's up now pennsylvania coming soon yeah oops Uh, thanks karen (laughs) she said you got this girl (laughs) you do (laughs) 
and she's written her own pattern for that one. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Yep. Just doing all the new things for 2024. New year, new things, too fun. <laughs> yep. Well, I just discovered what? I sewed, I got over anxious for green and sewed green on early and had a strip of blue that I was supposed to have done first. Oops. <laughs> so I am currently contemplating what I'm going to do to fix that. To pick or not to pick? Exactly. I say leave it and just go with it. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> because once it's all together and quilted, you won't even... Won't be able to sell. I'll be able to sell. And now I did you that will... on this quilt behind me. There was a couple rows that... I don't think you can see it because the way it's at. The, the purples got too close together. And I thought about ripping it out. And I thought, no, I'm just going to leave it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, not going for any awards here. And nobody knew what my plan was but me. So, yeah. Oh, good. Uh, Shelly So says, you two make a great team. Thank you. Thank you. I think I lucked out pretty much. Yeah. I'm so happy that you took a chance on me coming to my first retreat. <laughs> That's three years ago. That's so amazing. I know. Crazy, right? That's why... These retreats, they're so important. Let's see. Meet the most incredible people. So with Dee Dee said, I coordinate a potato chip scrap exchange. A lot of fun. Ooh. Joanne said, I'm looking forward to signing up for the PA retreat. The Georgia retreat is over a 13 hour ride. I hear you. It's a long way. Yeah. Not for everyone to drive that far. I get it. Aw, Kelly said, I gave the Sudoku quilt she'd been working on to her dad yesterday before the party started. He loved it. Oh, yay. That's awesome. Oh, uh, Karen, I'm using uh, Fairy Frost. So it's a combination of uh, the smooth and scratchy. I don't know how else to. <laughs> it's low gloss versus high gloss. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> low gloss versus high gloss. Um, <laughs> And it was a, what's called a Vegas strip from the So Yeah. Well, I, I always want to say brothers, but it's not just brothers anymore. So um, the So Yeah crew. <laughs> yeah. I used to call it that too until I learned that. I was like, scratchy versus not scratchy. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, no, it's low gloss versus high gloss. I'm like, oh, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. So the low gloss one, the metallic is actually in the fabric. It's made with like uh the fabric is you know, metallic fabric is weaved in. Yeah. With the high gloss, it's sprayed on top of the fabric. So they weave it into that, but it's also got the glitter on top of the fabric. So it's it's a little scratchier, but it does get softer when you wash it. Yeah. And I will say, uh versus the Kona Sheen. Uh, I would not been thinking about the fact that the high gloss has the stuff on top. It did mm -hmm. not come off with my eye. Yeah, no. That's the one thing I do like about even their high gloss. It doesn't come off. If you go to like, and I don't mean to disrespect Joanne's because if you need to, if you buy fabric from there, great. Um, but if you go to their section and their novelty fabric, sometimes when they have glittery stuff for the holidays, if you just run your hand over their, their um, glittery ones, you like wear glitter the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like get, getting a card with glitter on it. Yes. <laughs> There's not too many companies out there that have perfected the like glitter doesn't come off thing. So I feel like the fairy frost is really good for that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. 
Marlo said, I have big snowflakes here in Northeast Ohio. I don't want them. <laughs> it was still in here a bit ago. Marla, I can't see out the window now because I'm in the basement. But when I came down, we were getting, but we weren't getting the big pretty ones. We were getting like the, where it almost looks like rain because the snow is so fine, but it wasn't rain. Um, yeah. So, send them our way. My kids will love it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Sonia says, excited for next Sunday. Us yeah. too. <laughs> so DB said, I've only gone to one day retreat, sleep at home. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's kind of like what our virtual retreat's going to be because everybody's going to be at home. <laughs> yep. Those can be fun too, but it's kind of something a little different when you're staying with the people that you are sewing with for a week. I think that's, it's a different kind of bonding experience. Yeah. But I, I have had an absolute blast at virtual retreats. Mm -hmm. I have had a great time at the, the longer ones. Um, it's just, you know, what you can fit in at the yeah. time you have, you have, for me, vacation available. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a big thing for people. And what you're comfortable with. If you're super shy, I can understand but you'd be more hesitant to go in person. Although Miss Thing here, <laughs> I've told Latchy of this, but first retreat, she didn't talk to anybody. <laughs> and I think that's what that is what it um made me comfortable about that first retreat because Millersburg is in a hotel. And so I had my own room and I knew that I could run away and hide if I needed to. So it made me more comfortable about going to that first one. Yeah. So. Oh no, Jackie, I'm so sorry. She got oh. an, empty ma uh, an empty mailer from Legit Kits today. I'm I'm thinking is that that's probably Iris that came, right? Uh it looks like it got wet and the glue melted and so then there's nothing in it. But she's oh. she emailed them already. They will make it right. But oh, that is that is gut wrenching. Yeah, that's terrible. That's sad. That would be horrible to open your package and there's nothing in it. There's nothing there. Yeah. Oh. Is Delmarie still here? Delmarie, I just saw your message. I just put something in there for you. Oh, gosh, no, Marla. You helped because you you were talking. I didn't have to. It was perfect. Like, I don't <laughs> if that sounds, I, I don't want that to sound any bad way. It, it was, it made me very comfortable that I didn't have to like talk, come up with topics or icebreakers or anything. I was very glad to have been sitting with you. <laughs> was back there with you is you and marla uh was was her name patty oh she was the super fast quick yeah. like sewer mm. that's right i can't i don't think it was patty but i can't think of her name maybe marla will know but yeah the she was oh my gosh she, she was everything in like time. Yeah. yeah but she also didn't talk so that probably helped her yeah I liked our little table back there. It was it was a good first <laughs> like groundhogs poking their heads out of the ground like to check out is it safe or not? That yeah. was that was a good first <laughs> safety check. <laughs> Great. Peggy. Peggy. Yes. Peggy, yes. Thank you, Marla.
the sleepover retreats are expensive. Well, they can be, but it's like, you know, paying for a hotel. So, yeah, I understand that, though. That's why I do the scholarship fund. Yeah. Good morning, Juanita. <laughs> Ingrid, shut up. <laughs> <There's the fingers laughs> that no one can imagine Shannon not talking now. Right? <laughs> Whatever. In a very loving way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Crystal said I have some Vegas strips and now I'm not afraid to use them. <laughs> oh, yay. Yay. It is fun to think about all of the traditional, like smaller blocks that uh, you can make enormous into just a, a one block quilt with with the Vegas strips. Yeah. Uh, Shelly's asking for the virtual retreat or prints okay, or do we need blenders or uh, solids? Uh, if you are comfy with prints with I'm, I'm assuming this is the fpp pattern um if you're if you are comfy with prints knock yourself out <laughs> uh not not everybody is going to be comfortable with the, the direct directional like right sides yeah. or whatever which is where you know solid or boutiques comes into but um yeah it, yeah if you are are good and comfy with directional or stripes or words or things like that. Mm -hmm. It is, it is open to interpretation. <laughs> yeah. I don't recommend directional for, well, probably for either of ours really. Yeah. I would say prints would be fine, but I wouldn't do directional. Um, I'm far too psychotically anal about like if I had stripes like where they would meet and if they would all be going the same way I would yeah. end up spending so much time obsessing about that that I would then not have fun yeah <laughs> so oh Shelly's saying for Stephanie's pattern okay cool sorry yeah. to completely I would, you could do prints but I wouldn't do directional and uh let's address that really quick actually you keep sucking <laughs> multiple emails from people attending the retreat and I'm more than happy to help people but we sent the fabric requirements for a reason mix up the colors like I said in the email but I've had people send me can I use a charm pack can I use this I don't know because when I tested my pattern I tested it with the requirements I sent you and I'm pretty sure Shannon did the same thing so if you want to use those things, you can try, but I can't tell you whether it's going to work or not. I've, yep. had, I've had like five emails with people saying that, and I like that they're trying to use their stash and think outside the box, but I only tested it with what I provided for you guys as far as requirements. So it could work. It might not. I don't want to tell you it will, and then it won't. Yeah. And then I don't want you upset with me because you're like, oh, you said this would work, and then it doesn't work, and you're short fabric. So <laughs> do whatever fabric colors you want whatever you know directionals non-directionals prints solids basics but i would say at least stick to the fabric requirements as written yeah if that makes sense i i'm, I'm sorry, not trying to offend anybody or say you know but i don't i just don't know i couldn't i can't say like a charm pack will work i can't say a layer cake will work yeah. um i don't know <laughs> Because I tested it with the way I wrote it. I didn't test it with all, all the other things. So, um, I, I mean, that's the, the only thing I could do is say, I, I don't know, try it. And I, I know it's not a great answer, but 
I don't have time to try it with every kind of pre-cut out there. So yeah. sorry. <laughs> and I, I, what, I was thinking about that of, oh, I think you could probably do mine with a layer cake, but it was, it's my first time writing a pattern. I, Stephanie can attest to this. And Ingrid, I talked to you too. Like I would, it's stressful. <laughs> <laughs> writing a pattern and yeah. trying to make it make sense for people when it, it makes sense in your head and then trying to get it on paper and and oh the thought of trying to then test it with another you know kind of of, of cutout or, or, yeah. or a free cut or whatever yeah I was like I can't I just can't I can't do that maybe you know when I've got a few years of pattern writing under my belt I'll I'll venture into that kind of stuff but yeah I, I had the fat quarters. It worked with the fat quarters. I was like, fat quarters is what we're going with. <laughs> yep. And mine, I did it sort of like a two color quilt, but not two color because it's, it's a background, which I did with white and then two different colors of blue. So a lighter blue and a darker blue. If you want more colors than that, great. If you want to do two purples or two greens, that's fine too. Or if you have like 20, you know, different fat quarters of red and you want to do it all reds, I'm sure that will work. It's just, I can't tell you for sure if that will work. Yeah. I hope that makes sense. Cause I didn't test it that way. I tested it with the way I sent it to you guys. So <laughs> yeah. And I, I also, I just, oh, yeah. sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. I, I, what I was going to say, I, I don't know if you find this, I found this that I had in my head what I wanted to create the pat the fabric colors that I wanted yeah. to create the pattern with. Mm -hmm. And then it became really hard to think outside that box. Yeah. Like what other people might want to use. Yeah. Which is something I'm gonna need to learn to do, but but I just it did come become really hard for me to think, oh, what might other people want to use in this? Yeah. Well that's and that's why I said in the email about like mine, especially the blues, right? You guys know I'm a blue person, but if you're not a blue person, what I wrote for you guys is going to look great in other colors. Two shades of red, two shades or like a pink and a red, or two shades of purple, a dark and a light, two shades of green. I think it's going to look great in any of those colors. And after you get it and you want to make it again and you want to do a rainbow of colors, I think that will look great. But the only reason I didn't suggest that is because I don't know, based on what I tested, if you want a rainbow, how much of each color you need, right? Right, yeah. So I couldn't say, well, if you want rainbow, bring 20 fat quarters. I don't know. So that's why I didn't say, you know, if you want rainbow, bring 20. I don't know. I can't tell you because I didn't test it that way. <laughs> I'm uh, sure you also, can do that. I'm sure you can do my pattern in those colors. I just don't know what to tell you as far as yeah. If that, if I what you that would need of each thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For both of your patterns, small prints or it doesn't matter. Um I think small prints would look fine with mine. I wouldn't do directional. And let, well, I should preface that with, if you are OCD like me <laughs> and need all your directionals to go the correct direction, don't do directional. If you don't care and you are awesome like that, because some people don't care and I've seen their quilts and they're amazing. Yeah. But my brain won't let me do that. So if your brain will let you do that, go with directionals if you want. Um, but if you're OCD like me and they have to all go the same way, you'll drive yourself crazy. So, <laughs> um, I would say for mine, so very much like the New York beauty, if you are okay with, if you're using a larger print, like a K for something, um, that you are getting a very focused, almost fussy cut view of that cut, then like large prints wouldn't matter, but you aren't going to see what that large print is at all in 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 the pattern that I did. Like you you you'll see 
bits, but it, it would be like the the New York Beauty where it's it's you know cut. But then if you have like a yard of a uh, K facet and you like cut it up like that, you could definitely get a, a wide variety of colors and use it throughout the entirety of the thing and not have to d use anything else. So, um, or like if you wanted to use an ombre and you your brain you can figure that out to to place the ombre all over the place yeah, yeah. you could definitely but my my brain doesn't can't can't noodle that out <laughs> which way is this and this is it Well, Lauren just came downstairs and uh, one of the cat record scratch her like major like the one that follows Lauren all over the place uh, is mad <laughs> and that record she's just upstairs yelling wow wow <laughs> <laughs> how, how dare you leave me Thank you, Ingrid. That is the perfect way to describe it. She said that's when each individual's creativity comes in. A pattern writer can't think of every option, but that's what makes it fun for those sewing the patterns to make it their own. Yes. That is very true. Yeah. And Judy said, thank you. I don't do directional. Me either. I, I shouldn't say I don't ever, but usually it's like the square in the middle of the star that I don't have to figure out which way uh, the right? cat yeah. is going. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Paula said, yep, I'm totally doing this in cave. I don't care which way the prints go. Perfect. Cave is perfect. It's that fabric that has prints, but cave is the one that you can cut up and it won't matter because. Gorgeous. Saturated color, no matter yeah. what. Yeah. So the virtual retreat, Del Marie, yes, what time um, starts at eight. Well, we're going to open the doors at 830 a.m. Eastern time. So. um Come in somewhere between 8.30 and 9. But at 9 o'clock, we're going to mute everybody and Shannon's going to start teaching. So if you're late, you're going to come in and I'm going to have you muted. Um, and then we'll go back and help you after she's finished her initial round of teaching. It's not fair for her to have to start and stop if there's people who are late. But we are happy to go back and help people. Um, yeah. I've done some Zoom classes before for another company. And that's what I did is I basically went through the whole pattern, helped everybody that was there, the few people that were late. Um, I went back and I started basically from the beginning after I got the current folks kind of in a place where they were working for a while and I knew I could pause their directions and go start, help the people that had come in. So yeah, um, that's kind of, I think, what our plan is going to be. What fabric is the quilt made from, please? Which quilt? The one behind you? The one behind me? That's Cosmos from PMB Textiles. Is there a wait list for the virtual retreat? No, nope, it's full, it's closed. So. But I'm just saying, there could be more. There could be more. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Marla said, I noticed you got your red and white stripes all the same direction on the Moto Blockheads 5. I did. I did. I <laughs> did use directional fabric. I don't even know where to put the block. I did use directional fabric, but I was very, very careful to get them all going the same direction because y'all know me. I have to have it the same direction. <laughs> <laughs> Which, when it works, it's so satisfying. Yeah. Pat, is that what you meant, the quote behind me? Whew. 
Oh, Delmarie, bless you. 5.30 a.m. Hi, Shirley. Yeah, that's a... You guys are like the real ones. We The, the West Coasters and, right? and beyond. Shirley said, good morning from California. Just woke up, but we'll be on... In, in time for the virtual retreat. Awesome. Oh yeah, Pat said yes. So you have just about got to go, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is what I got so far. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh, it looks like suede. Yeah. I love all the different, like this pack had some grunge it had some shadow play it had um some solids it's got this uh one here that's got the texture so yeah it's looking really kind of cool with all this mixed up all these mixed all right. up i'm just letting you all out there know i will be bidding on this one i'm here <laughs> for a bidding war <laughs> yeah oh thanks <laughs> and this is this is what i've Oh, I'm done. Pretty. Woo! It's so sparkly. I love it. It is gorgeous. So I will be working more on this the the rest of the week, and I will will post it. Nice. So happy with how pretty it is, and how just mindless I can be. And just yes. Step it away. <laughs> That's the beautiful thing about this. If you just are not in the mood to piece something with eighty little pieces. <laughs> yeah yeah and this is the perfect project to just kind of just sew and clear your mind and yes <laughs> and again how how satisfying it is to just see it build so fast yep yep it's awesome and I've just got about four or five more rows left so I'll get this done here in the next few minutes which I'm excited about <laughs> uh Julie um, was asking about if you don't mind me talking about this really quick the okay. auction for this if she said she can't attend a retreat, but she would like to help, um, which thank you so much. Oh, that's awesome. So I will have the auction and I've been contemplating setting up whether to just put a donate button too, if you don't want to bid on anything and you just want to donate money. Um, I don't like asking people for money without giving them something in return. But since you're asking, I can go ahead and do that. Um, if anybody would like to do that, I should have that open by the end of this month. So I want to get these quilts finished, um, quilted and bound, and then I could start doing that. So thank you so much for asking, Julie. That was really sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Folks are getting antsy. And the cats are going to <laughs> Okay. So, um, Stephanie, yes. let us know what you've got going on over the next week. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've heard us prattle on about the retreat. So that's next Sunday. And then um, let me think. This Wednesday will be the Stephen and Stephanie Sew Day uh, that we do. It's a free Zoom. Uh, you can find it under Stephen's videos, my videos, the Zoom link. Come anytime between 9 a.m. Eastern and 4 p.m. Eastern time. Um, you don't have to stay if you can only pop in for a few minutes and say hi. We've had a few people do that. That's really fun. Um, that's Wednesday. Also, Wednesday is Moto Blockheads 5 Part 2 Block 2. <laughs> <laughs> so at some point, either during that day or Thursday, depending on when I can get it filmed, uh, that will come out. And then, yay, Wednesday night, something I'm really, really excited about is that we're doing our new program that we're doing once a month called The Social. S-E-W-C-I-A-L. <laughs> and that's Shannon here and I and Russ of Quilt Meets World and Stephen and Walter of The Idiot Quilter. We're all going to get together. And the first month is going to be on Stephen's channel. We're going to rotate channels. And um, 6 p.m.? No, 7. 7. Oh, my seven gosh. Eight. I keep saying <laughs> 6. I don't know why. But 7 p.m. Eastern time, we're going to get together and we're just going to have like a chat. We're going to chat, talk about quilting stuff, non-quilting stuff. We're going to talk about what we're going to be working on, things coming up. 
And it may end up being like Steven's regular live where we have topics and you all start asking us questions and we go off on some wild tangent. Who knows? Yep. That's half just the fun. A, a fun thing for you all to see us all together and um, ask questions and chat mm -hmm. with all the all where we're not so in a project because it's it can be really it's really fun to sew with you guys. But it can be a little difficult to sew and watch the chat and talk to each other at the same time. Yeah. So we just um, we just get together and we're just going to chat. So it's going to be fun. Yeah. And then we have a couple other things or we have something else coming up. But I'm going to let Shannon talk about that on Tuesday. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. So, um, well, first, thank you all so much for being here today and spending some time with us sewing up the potato chip quilt. Uh, next up for this week, yes, Tuesday night is... New York Beauty Night is block three. So that is at 6 p.m. <laughs> that Eastern. Uh, and we're doing Brolga. Uh, and uh, we will be from six to eight Tuesday night. Uh, then Wednesday is the social, which I am thrilled with. I cannot wait to do that. Thursday will be my podcast, Thursday morning, where I'll talk about all the things that I've done over the past week. I've got some ideas of switching up the podcast a little bit for 2024. So we'll see. We'll see <laughs> if I get that done. But for this week, um, I don't get to join Stephanie and Steven's Wednesdays very often. But if you guys are able to, it's a lot of fun. Uh, if I can sneak in during a conference call, I've, I've been known to do it, but it doesn't happen all that often. <laughs> it's a good time, though. Uh, but yeah, so that's and then Sunday. I won't have a Sunday brunch because I will be about two and a half hours deep into <laughs> our retreat by then. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the retreat and I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to having you all be, uh, the, the first group of people to make a Shannon pattern. <laughs> so fun. I'm so excited. All right. Well, thank you all again so much. I will post up a, a finished of uh, this beautiful, I'm so excited about the shimmer to this rainbow potato chip quilt. And um, we will see you Tuesday night for New York Beauty. All right. Thanks, everybody. Good. Have a good weekend or rest of the thank weekend. You guys.